when you're planning Lake Como, your Lake Como trip, you get your bicycles, you got some cyclists out that way. Stop in at Bellagio. Where do you go to get away? Where do you go to relax? Do you have a place in your country, place over the border? Where do you go when you need to travel and kind of get away from it all? This is Villa Olmo behind me. And if you're familiar with Italy, Villa Olmo is in Como. And this is the famous Lake Como right here behind me. Now, I lived up here for around 10 years before I moved to Florence. So I know the area quite well. And it's beautiful because also what's very particular about Como is it has these special planes that land on the water. It's like the old fantasy, uh, fantasy of the island, was it like that? Remember the little guy that said the plane, the plane? But Como's over that way, a beautiful place to come and relax. Also up here, Bellagio's out that way. A place that was famous really in the 1950s and 40s with the Americans. A lot of movie stars would come over here and hang out in Bellagio and Como. Now, not so much because uh, people take the low cost airlines, they travel to other destinations around Europe like Greece, Portugal, uh, with the ease of low cost travel. People are doing that now during coronavirus. Italians are taking advantage, coming to these places like Como, like Florence, seeing the places in their own country. It's amazing, you see why. So have you ever been to Como? Uh, whereabouts in Italy have you been? One thing of note, a history lesson from Gregor Brown is that Como was the first place in Italy I visited way back in the day. I flew into Malpensa, that's the airport uh, to the northwest of Milan, drove straight to Como. That was the place where I wanted to go and check it out. And you can see why, it's just relaxing. And at Como, you have to come for the bike ride around Lake Como because it's spectacular. Beautiful roads that always look out to the lake and quite fun. Just looking for George Clooney's house right now. Have we seen it? Yeah. <laughs> and sure enough, it's right here. Villa Oliranda, I think it is. I just asked a local girl over there and she said, for sure this is his place. I live here in the town and I've never seen George, but we hope to see him someday. So he visits in and out of this villa. A beautiful place, just about, I'd say five to seven kilometers outside of Como. Here it is, Clooney's house. The fresh air from the lake. This is Villa Libertà, and it's just up the road from Villa Olmo. I found it on booking.com. I'll put the link down below. You should check out this place if you get a chance. It has a view of the lake. I'm up here on this cool terrace. It's amazing. Down here, see the gardens? Now the owners are telling me they have a lot of weddings here and things like this uh, normally during normal times. And it's beautiful because they can host them here in the garden down below. So that's where they have the weddings up here. They'll have aperitivos, drinks. So normally that's the case. Right now we're still in Code Orange in Lombardia, so they can't do that. But it's a beautiful place to come and hang out and chill. This is Lake Como. It's my getaway up from Tuscany here, a few hours drive. Do you guys have some getaways you go to when you need to rest and relax? What do you do in the United States or wherever you live? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, check out the video below I made on riding my bike in Tuscany. That's a cool one to watch. And let me know if you got some other car trips, uh, road trips planned because here, I just rented a car, drove about a few hours. I think it was a four hour drive. Just unpacked the bikes. We were able to get in a bike ride today. Along the lake, we saw Clooney's house. And who can complain? Check it out, this is Bellagio. You can see all the ancient villas up there because here in the days, in the 50s, 40s, VIPs, all the stars would come here. President Kennedy would come here. Some of these bars over here, they got all the black and white photos. You can see everybody who dropped in here. Italians used to love to vacation on Lake Como. And now it's a place where internationally it's known, the Americans know it, Lake Como, Bellagio. And what's cool is if you have the time, come here, get on one of these boats, and you can see a boat coming in right over. See the boat over there is coming in. They dock around here and it could take you all the way up and down the lake. You could take it around the lake. A very cool way, slow travel to pass the yeah. day. Yeah. 
Bellagio. You gotta come and visit. And if you got a car, you can drive up this twisty, turny, technical road. It'll make you your palms sweat, but it's a fun drive. Driving in and out of these little towns from Como, past a little town called Nesso. That's where Chris Froome once lived when he was racing with Barlow World for all you cycling fans. And you can get up here to Bellagio and check it out because you see in this town here, it's a little hillside town. You get all these bars and cafes and all these shops that sell everything you need. A little trinket, you can get a gelato, get a plate of pasta set out there. A little tip, if you get a cappuccino and you sit down uh, in the Terrace is there. They're going to charge you about four euro. If you just take it at the bar, they'll charge you the normal one, one euro twenty cents. So you can save a little bit of money doing that. But hey, why not splurge? Get that four euro cappuccino. That's still less expensive than you're going to get in the United States and like the UK. And just enjoy an amazing view like this. Look at that. Some, some uh, vacationers, some locals coming in on a boat here. They're going to dock over here. So. When you're planning Lake Como, your Lake Como trip, you get your bicycles, you got some cyclists out that way, stop in at Bellagio. Oh, it's an amazing way to pass an afternoon. I'm gonna go find some lunch, get a coffee, and then probably just wrap up my little Lake Como getaway, drive back to Florence. Mm -hmm.